Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Horde Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded though, because we are going to be checking out the Mash Tato mod here today. Adds so many new characters and things to the game here. I am very much looking forward to checking it out. A lot of them do need to be unlocked. We'll see what we can do about that, but they all, from what I can tell, the unlocked characters at the very least look really cool. So first, we're going to be checking out the Cyclops. You start out with an Eye of the Cyclops. Don't know what that is. We'll find out in the run. One max HP for every elemental damage you have. Five range for every melee damage you have. Max HP and melee damage modifications increase by 50%. But you cannot equip ranged weapons. You lose two weapon slots. 20% attack speed down. 6% speed down. Harvesting modifications down. So a lot of stuff. I mean, it's kind of off the back of figuring out what this does we'll figure out in the run but it does seem like we should go for a melee slash elemental type uh weapon run for me that would be like a lightning shiv but we don't have that as an option right now i guess i will go for i'll go for torch why not we never we never really go for torch ah okay it's a weapon it's a legendary weapon that we start with. Scales off of elemental and 200% of our level. That's very clever. Has 99 piercing, projectiles explode on hit, and it gives us an extra weapon slot, so it doesn't even count for one of us. That's such... That's so clever. Doesn't even count for one of our four weapons. Good. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we do start with a legendary, but it doesn't do very much damage. Two damage. Scaling on our level. That's such a such a clever way to let us start with a really cool unique weapon that is not overpowered at the beginning but could become overpowered it's kind of leading me towards um wanting to go elemental more than even caring about the melee aspect at all considering this scales on elemental too like five range for every melee i guess we could just completely well, no, max HP and melee modifications are increased by 50%. That right there is the catch that I uh, that I missed out on there. Huh. That being said, I do think I want, like, a Toxic Sludge. That gives us health. I mean, first things first, let's try and grab some torches. Uh, it's 14 for a torch. Okay, we didn't get it. That's fine. Broken Mouth seems logical. Well, we're going to want to go for HP regen, aren't we? Four weapons, worse attack speed. This is not a lifesteal run, I can tell you that much for sure. That doesn't mean I... I think we still go for Broken Mouth. I think we go for Broken Mouth and we go for HP regen. I think it's just like a... Eh, it's going to suck for a, a little bit, right? Like, to get our HP regen up from that deficit. But uh, this laser is very cool. I guess since it's a weapon, we could also... Yeah, we can aim it. It's definitely not like broken right now though it does yeah it does eight damage it's just, I mean, who cares? This is not it's not that crazy do we grab melee or elemental then this is really the question i think i'm gonna go for elemental there we'll get ourselves another torch we'll get ourselves nope let's at least get another one in the shop please but yeah do we pivot out i mean if we get like a plasma sledgehammer i i think we pivot out for that our attack speed is pretty bad. So, well, since this is a weapon, wait, since that's a weapon, it actually could life steal and it could also gain attack speed. That's so neat. What a. We're like three waves into one character. And I'm like, okay, I think we're in for a really big treat with this mod here. It kind of like came out of nowhere. I did, I'll say, I have known about it, I saw it when it came out. And I had been planning on checking it out after the other mod I was looking at. But yeah, dang, it's very, very cool. All right, 52 health already. We also have the primitive set bonus going on because the four weapons here are, you know, torches. Is that really, that's doing 18 damage? My, oh, freaking my. But yeah, it's scaling off to 200% of level is also a very clever way to make it so, like, yeah, well, if I go absolutely crazy on my levels, it still starts to take a long time to increase your level by one late game. So it ain't that big of a deal. But it has 99 piercing, 
We are also down two weapon slots and down... Ooh, I think we go for the elemental. Flaming Brass Knuckles. Now, there we go. If, if I'm going to be honest, we should probably go for those. That's got to just... Just got to be a much better angle. Yeah. It's also a faster weapon. Flaming Brass Knuckles will definitely be the, uh, the angle I want to take. Again, if I get a Plasma Sledgehammer, or, you know, God forbid, like a Thunder Sword, I'll take those instead. But those are less likely, right? They are... They're epic weapons... Ethics only, ethics and above. So, I'm not going to sit here and uh, expect it. I could grab some luck and try and influence it. Uh oh. Our direct kill damage is not very good. Could stack a whole bunch of melee and fix that up a bit, but I don't know. Crit, we could. Lifesteal, it's like a little bit weird. One max HP, two harvesting at the end of the wave. It would equate to one harvest thing. It's not crazy. because of, Just because of our specific character, it's not that good. Bat. Sausage. If our laser beam can apply that. Okay, there's the lightning shiv. Oy, oy, oy. Too many fingers, too many pies. We can't, uh, we can't go in on all that. But yeah, if this can apply burn. Okay, well... <laughs> It's super thin, the laser. It looks like it can apply burn. Yeah, some of those have the burn effect on them. But yeah, I would say since it scales on level, something that would be like a very good thing to normally do would have theoretically been get a bunch of harvesting, level up a lot, bada bing, bada boom. You get yourself a super crazy laser and the uh, profit. Yeah, it's... The fact that we can aim it is really cool. It's kind of like, I don't know. We also can actually look at the weapon and know exactly what it's going to be doing. Landmines. Oh, God. You may think this is stupid, but it's seven bucks and it can apply burn. So I am actually in. Grab some melee. Help us out. Grab some oh, melee. Help us out. Huh. We do have pretty good range already. So we can afford to sack it a little bit. Ugly Tooth is good. I just don't feel like it. That's the nice thing. I, I would say that, yeah, that's the benefit. The range from melee. I don't care that much about melee range. Sometimes it can be bad. Usually it's like, yeah, sure, it's fine. Uh, at best, it's like, yeah, yeah, sure. I guess I could be a little bit safer, but also my DPS slightly impacted. Uh, generally, though, I just like to have it around neutral, so the fact that I'm getting a bunch of free range... Uh, eggs. <laughs> I just have to. I don't know. That's where my brain went, okay? Uh, as much as we get a bunch of free range, we actually get to, um... Grab range down. Take something... Is this why we can take something like Cyclops Worm? Eh? Eh? Dev? Did I, did I see what you did there? Or did I see what I did there? Which one is it? Uh-oh. Uh, but my single target is understandably a bit bleh. Snake good. God, I, I, I do need to get some HP regen. <laughs> At one of... One of these days, I gotta get some freaking HP regen. I need more attack speed, too. Because that will affect my laser beam. Again, like, the fact that it literally is an actual standalone weapon, meaning I can actually look at it. It's not on the character sheet. Like, it's not right here, like a lot of the characters do. But then it also gives you a weapon slot, so it doesn't take up anything. It's just... What a clever way to handle it. That's a... That's an genius solution to a problem that I didn't like I, I like knew I had I was like oh, yeah this is just a thing that is par for the course for mods like this kind of clumsy thing it has to be there nope this mod creator said no I actually see a like a good solution to that so I just I don't know one little thing and I have uh and my mom got scared and I got a lot of faith for Whoa. got a lot of faith for the mod already we'll see 
right, we gotta get plant. I think some life steal is good. Hmm. <sighs> A lot of actually, like, actually interesting choices we have to make here. I do think Bat's good enough because it's only a one harvest thing down. Also, Laser Beam is an explosive weapon, technically, so Dynamite's helpful. I guess, um, Plastic Explosive would be helpful. Line him up. Laser Beam him down. God, the fact that we can aim it. Oh, it's so good. Weep. Weep. We're starting to stack it up so that it's actually very good. We do have to manually aim it, and it's so thin. So thin. If you see right there, like that was the uh, the game's aim, and it was not very good. It is gonna reward you manually aiming it a lot, but sometimes we just can't set up good ones. There we can. There we can. Alright. Very neat. I don't have a whole lot of faith about... Ooh. Thank you. About our boss killing potential at the current moment. It's not bad. I just don't feel like it. Ooh, ooh. Lure good. Definitely get the flame brass knuckles. Trying to pivot out of our, our torches into flame brass knuckles. I think will be very good for us. Okay. Yeah, getting a bunch of attack speech so that our laser beam goes goes ham. Good call. Elemental giving us health is nice. Weep. Not crazy. It feels like I don't know. It feels you know how it feels? Well gold darn it it feels balanced. <laughs> it feels this feels strong, but not too strong. Like, the laser beam is really good. So good that you would think this character would be kind of broken, maybe? In practice, the character's... It feels good. It feels good, but that I... Like, I have to try, and I have to strategize in the shop, which is just... That's the dream. That's what you want. Bean Teacher, I do want the lifesteal, but... Rip. Sharp bullet, I'm gonna say no, that actually ruins my laser. It has basically infinite piercing as is. Do I care? I don't think I care about the torch. I think it's wasting money to. Well, we got the extra cell stuff, so. We'll get metal. Not gonna be going for crit here today, even though this can crit. It can crit, but it has a 1.5 ratio, so having crit actually be a viable dump stat sounds... Whoa, whoa what the hell with that knockback? Sounds so nice. Okay. Feeling like I'm getting a bit stronger. Yeah, my single target damage, just judging by how long the mummies are living, it's fine. My AoE clear is really good. Double so if I actually want to manually aim my laser, which I'm too lazy to do all the time. Okay. Beep. Especially as it's getting faster. I think that's the thing. As it gets faster, I'm like, eh, I can't. I can't be bothered to do it every time. Okay. Get in there. We got a lot of health. We do need some more HP regen, I would say. I said more HP regen. Life steal works. Uh, attack speed's good. Spicy sauce. We can actually do some fun stuff with. Would you please? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right. Uh, explosion dip. Yes. I pet. What the hell? Minus two max HP. Minus twenty five range. Plus 12% damage. It's a unique plus 20% experience gain. Okay, let's check the eye. 64, 72. It works. It it totally works. 
just a yeah, just a 15% damage up. We do have a horde wave here, which if I didn't just get that uh, HP regen item, I actually think we'd be in a lot of weird danger here. Okay, kind of want to get in the corner. Laser blast down. That getting like a uh, community support would be lovely. Oh god, that feels good. Laser blast right through the middle. I wonder if we can only life steal once off of our laser. Okay, we're at, okay. We're putting ourselves in a lot of danger there. I just felt like I was fine, and I was, and I am. We could probably run through the middle again. I want the money. I want the money. I want the help. I want the money. Uh, yeah, that's worth it at this point. Definitely don't need more range. Thank you. Life steal. It's it's weird today. Beautiful. Sure. Do I want more enemies? I don't think I want more enemies today. I don't know. There's a plasma sledgehammer. Charcoal good. Charcoal's like a best in slot. Like, you get benefit from both of the positive stats, and you only get half of the negative. It's like, whew. It's the dream. So we have 50% uh, harvesting scaling. Which, for those paying attention at home, also affects the name. Whoop. Gotta, I gotta go and uh, explain some, some core basics again every once in a while. I know the new people are watching. First of all, hello and welcome. Uh, second of all, you're not here anymore. I already scared you off. I'm aware. Don't worry. Whoop. Yeah, feeling, feeling good about this now. Feeling very good about this now. I mean, we could just grab some more common items. Getting that HP regen up even more. Armor would go a long way. I don't think I have this one, right? Correct. Uh, fine. We have so much health, it's worth it. Attack speed's great. Eye surgery, why not? We have the range for it. Lol. It's... It is not a fast weapon, but we do get to have a, a little bit of variety, at the very least. It should help us... Should help us with our single target, one would think. And it's an explosive weapon! Which means it's got the explosive tag, so explosion size up on our laser. How much is that going to really help? I don't know. It won't make the laser bigger. It will make the uh, explosions that the laser makes bigger. I'm not going to say we scaled into not caring anymore, but... I think that we probably don't have to care about anything until, like, a mini-boss. Then we have to try. I think I could probably just mash my face around through the waves and be completely fine until the mini-boss. Genuine thoughts. Alienize, why not? Um, Shackles? Yeah, 12 speed's enough, yeah. It's nice to finally get that at a time where I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, whatever. All right, mini boss. It's you. We're doing good damage, though. So he's about to start uh, spawning a million guys. We could try and uh, cheese it, get a lot of money. But honestly, I think that this guy sucks. So I am just going to run in there and kill him. Farming be darned, I just don't want to engage with that level of cheese, and also I hate that boss. <laughs> I hate that boss, man. <laughs> On anything but a hunting trophy run or um, ghost weapon run, that boss just doesn't feel up to Brotato standards. That's just that one attack. The second phase of that boss does not feel up to Brotato standards to me. Zoop. 
It's a really fun idea that I feel like got accidentally overtuned to the point of feeling like a meme. It's not that it's necessarily too strong. It just feels wrong. It just feels wrong. Okay. Uh, actually, no. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that. 12% damage, sure. Sad tomato. Engineer from Elemental. I mean, we could. I haven't taken sad tomato in a while. I haven't taken sad tomato in a while because fairy exists. That's that's the cold hard truth. Oh no, I'm actually screwed over by that today. Pocket factory is not bad. I'm not taking. I'm not going to take focus. I'm, I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. Black belt's not bad. It's not great either anymore. It's wave 16. We're probably like beyond care on that one. But yeah, the second I can get another Flamey Rass Knuckles or Plasma Sledgehammer, I'm ditching my lower quality torch. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have two torches, which is why you don't see me use torch a lot because I love stacking mono weapon. I think it's really like, it's so satisfying to me. It also makes the shopping process a lot easier. It makes runs less clunky, makes RNG a little bit cleaner. I just, there's a lot of reasons why for a video, I would like going for mono weapons. Uh, I find that mixed elemental melee runs, I will go for the most weapon variety though, due to the fact that Torch isn't very good. <laughs> Torch is not very good. Lightning ship you can rock until the end, but we weren't offered it as a starting option and pivoting to it at the time that it first showed up for us. It didn't feel that great. Didn't feel that great to me. I'll, you know what? I'll take nine dodge. Sure. I could, I mean, I like I could go plank. I'm aware. Oh, we don't, we only have one torch. What? What am I talking about? Why do I think I have two torches? Oh, man, we could have gone uh, the book and then gone plank. It's an explosive as well. This does better burn. Doesn't do it for as long, but... hi yeah, yeah. We're just going to have a little bit of everything, aren't we? Okay. This guy going to blow up. Yep. Cool. Blow him up. You going to blow up? Act like he doesn't know anybody. All right. Yeah, you may be wondering also, like, just to mention on the Pocket Factory pick, some of you probably already understand. I picked it for a reason. It's because if we can kill a tree, we get a turret. The turret can apply our burn. That's why. That's it. Our burn, if a thing applies burn right now, it's really good. Here, like, I'll, uh, see, look at that. That guy applied burn. It spreads to another one. One turret does a really good job. It just killed... We are not going engineering, but that turret just killed four enemies with one attack. That's why I, that's why I have pocket factory. I lol. Uh possibly the worst possible day to get that. No. 6% enemy up, 1% dodge, one harvesting whenever you dodge it. Huh. Interesting. Same reason just spreads Spencer Burn. There you go. We got one of every kind of weapon here that's uh, a melee elemental hybrid barring um, lightning ship. What are you going to do on that run, though? What are you going to do on that front? We only got four weapon slots. You want me to take different weapons? There you go, baby. There you go. I saw that there were um, some character unlocks, like a decent amount of character unlocks tied to what level you get to. So I guess I'm hoping I get to level 25. I feel like that would be a relevant level. I could be wrong. Maybe it's 20 and 30 and whatever. I don't know. I don't know. 
doesn't matter. We don't need to start worrying about unlocking stuff. And plus, I'll be real. If some of the... I saw some of them were like, win a run with Jack and this item. I'm probably going to either A, look into how do I unlock that, like, without having to actually do it. Because I just... Like, that's cool and fun. It's like a fun... It's a fun spirit thing. I just don't really, like... I don't want to be tied to having to wait for that stuff, personally. There's the lightning ship that I can't use. I mean, we could go for that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are, we, we've won. We have absolutely, absolutely, absolutely won. What's our laser doing? 164 and a burn. And a burn that spreads. Okay, so the burn, uh, this can't apply our sausage. I thought it could. It can't. No reason to get that one, then. You'd think it'd be really good. There could only be one one uh, normal burn on the target at the same time. For some reason, I thought that you could have the blue fire and the normal fire at the same time. I don't think that it overwrites my higher tier fire. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm literally just, like, standing here and taking it. I, I absolutely outscaled care. We have so much freaking uh, health as well. But, I don't know. The early game, this character was kind of tough. And then I feel like, I don't know, it got kind of easy. Explosive turret's actually very legit. I don't need another one of those. I'll take another one of those, though. Yo. I mean, selling this to buy that doesn't feel like it makes a whole lot of sense. It's not that much of an increase. It's not not, but it's... I feel like... I feel like we can do better. We probably won't. Oh, I feel like I already have. Ugly Tooth is great on the boss as well. And we're only two under our speed cap. Let's see what we don't get. Cool. But yeah, getting a Ugly Tooth before the boss... Kind of like a really dream time to get it. Okay. Trying to run in the middle so that my alien eyes pop them. Ah. Beef that one. Okay, stay in the middle. Alien eye blast. I'm going to get inside him. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's really risky, but technically it's optimal DPS to literally stand inside the boss when your alien eyes are going to go. It's risky, but okay, it's fun. We were going to win anyways. Uh, oh, we got a weapon. Cutlass. Blade. Agile. Agile is a... Oh, an attack speed... An attack speed set bonus. Thrusting and sweeping scaling on 75% melee and 50% of your level. I am into that. Let's check what we unlock. Nobody. We've unlocked none. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Like, I get it. It's fun. For me... Wait, also, that's wrong. I did reach level 15. What? What? Did I do any of these other things? These are all just like, I mean, yeah, I'm, okay. I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to literally, if anybody out there has all the characters unlocked and knows of a way to like, just get them all unlocked for, you know, for uh, in like the, I, I know there's like a notepad thing you can do where you unlock characters. I don't know how I would go about that though. So if anybody knows how to do that for all of these characters so that I don't have to just, like, happen to... I mean, these ones I don't care. Win a run with blank character. I don't... Like, that doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me. As long as it's a new... One of the new modded characters. This one, though. Win a run with Jack and Crown. I, I don't feel like I want to have to. Lucky and Lucky Coin. Win a run with Ninja. I mean, that's easy enough. Yeah, I like the ones that are, they're like, just a straightforward, like, yeah, win a run with a character that's already in the mod. This stuff is really cool for somebody who's just, like, playing and wants, like, more content to unlock and add in their base game. I want to showcase all these different characters and see what's in the mod. I don't really want to go through another grind process, personally. Um, but I loved that character, and if... Ooh. Interesting. Okay, alright, I'm excited already. Looking at those, I loved the character. Cyclops. Off to an incredible start. 
already. Uh, can't wait to check out the others. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today for Mash Tato. M A S H Tato. T A T O. Check that out on the Steam Workshop. I'll try and remember to put a link in the uh, description, but yeah, Mash Tato. It's not that hard to find on the Workshop. It's probably one of the higher ranking things right now. So go check it out. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.